Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to episode number nine of Reed Talks Football. Um, we're going to have a quick episode tonight. You know, we're going to get straight to the point here. Um, it's a one topic kind of night. Um, I think it needs to be covered. I've seen a lot of it on Twitter. I've seen a lot of talk about it. And, you know, it's, it's what the people want. See some, see some film on Devontae Parker. So basically, you know, I've heard a lot of talk. Yeah, Dolphins Patriots week two. Um, I heard a lot of talk about which team is the better overall team. Um, obviously last year, Miami was, we made the playoffs second in the AFC East Patriots are third. Uh, but I still think this year that Miami's had, has kind of got the edge there. Um, I've seen a lot of bold takes from a lot of new England fans. I've, I mean, <laughs> new England's front seven is not better than Miami's front seven. I mean, you're going to compare someone like Christian Barmore to Christian Wilkins, or, I mean, Matthew Judon's their scariest player. And, I mean, I would take Bradley Chubb over him. Maybe even Jalen Phillips. Jalen Phillips, hell of a player. Um, and then in terms of safety help, I've seen a lot of people say that the New England safety group is better. Um, I know we don't have a great strong safety, but I'm sorry. I'm not taking Adrian Phillips or Kyle Duggar over Javon Holland. It's not going to happen. Javon is the better safety on tape. He's the better safety statistically. Um, that's just clear biasness. Unfortunately, you see a lot of that. You see tons of that in New England. You see a lot of that Boston sports biasness. Um, it's just, it's when you've been raised on winning, uh, especially that's why it's in the younger group of people. When you've been raised on winning and you don't know what losing is, you you seem to forget that there are 31 other teams in the NFL, which leads to 31 other positional groups. Um, so in terms of that, New England fans always seem to think they have the best everything. I mean, I've I've heard someone say Tom Brady's the greatest uh, quarterback of all time. Rob Gronkowski is the greatest tight end of all time. Uh, Bill Belichick's the greatest head coach of all time. Which in hindsight, fine, I'll give you Tom Brady. He is. I will admit that. I even put this on my hat. Rob Gronkowski is not the greatest tight end of all time. Not even close. Um, you know, it's not even in the top three in terms of yards. It's Tony Gonzalez touchdowns, Tony Gonzalez, um, you know, not even Super Bowl rings, <laughs> which I've heard that. I mean, many, many Pats fans love to be like, oh, he's at the most Super Bowl rings and he doesn't even lead in that. Um, and then in terms of Belichick, great defensive coordinator for the Giants in the nineties, when he took over the Browns with, Bur uh, with uh, Bernie Kosar, 
went to the playoffs once, but at the end of the day, he was 37 and 49 as the head coach of the Browns. And then without Tom Brady, he's also sub 500. Um, let me see. Bill. So without Tom Brady, Bill Belichick is 79 and 87 as a head coach. Um, and that's just poor. That's poor. And I mean, you can't, you can't, uh, call someone the greatest head coach of all time. Um, I would argue Vince Lombardi is up there better, definitely better than Belichick, hundred percent better, like change the game. Uh, Don Shula, uh, you know, the, the most winningest head coach of all time, which Belichick is not up there yet. Um, the only coach to ever have an undefeated season, which Belichick does not have, and he probably will never have that. Knock on wood, barring some miracle. Um, and then there's some other, you know, great coaches um, that I could name that are better than than Bill Belichick. It's just um, I mean, Tom Landry, absolutely. Uh, George Hallis, absolutely. Paul Brown, absolutely. Um, those are some of the greats that changed the game. And unfortunately, a lot of New England Patriots fans these days, they don't have football knowledge prior to 2000. And that's sad. Sad. Very, very, very sad. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Enough of my Patriots fan hate. It, it's been a lot. It's been to an all-time high right now. It's just because tempers are kind of flaring. Uh, Dolphins Patriots week two, September 17th. September 17th. I'll actually be at that game. I'll be there in uh, in, in attendance. Um, but it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a rocky game. It's, it, the, these two fan bases don't like each other much, especially me being up here from New England. Uh, it gets rough. So without further ado, let's get into it. So Devonte Parker, uh, I've seen a lot on Twitter about him being a great playmaker, a baller. Uh, he's gonna have a great year with Bill O'Brien, so they say. Um, well, I just want to break down. So Devontae Parker was taken 14th overall by the Miami Dolphins in the 2015 NFL draft. Um, so with that kind of hype, you're going to want, he, he needs to be good. He needs to be solid. He needs to be a great receiver. So by year, Devontae Parker from his rookie year. So 2015, 2015, he had 26 receptions for 494 yards and three touchdowns. Not bad. Not bad. 2016, 56 catches, so more catches, 744 yards, uh, and four touchdowns. Uh, 2017 with the Dolphins, 57 catches, 670 yards, one touchdown. 2018, 24 catches, 309 yards, one touchdown. 2019, 72 catches, 1,202 yards, and nine touchdowns. That was his best season. His best season. I don't know what it was. He, I think it was just uh, they know, knew how to use him. But unfortunately, from there, it's all downhill. 2019, he had a spectacular season with Ryan Fitzpatrick. Uh, it was a tank for two a year. And then the next year wasn't that bad either. 63 catches, 793 yards, four touchdowns. The year after that, dips down uh, 40 catches, 515 yards, two touchdowns. And this year, dips down even lower to... 31 receptions for 539, three touchdowns. So Devontae Parker has not put up the numbers to be a wide receiver one. And I want to pull up a stat that really, really intrigues me. Really, really does. Um, it's from Next Gen Stats, so very real. Uh, it's, it's intriguing. It really, it truly is. And not many people like to point it out. Uh which is kind of sad. It's, it's, it's very hidden. So from Twitter, next gen stats, uh, it says, okay. So from Warren Sharp, Sharp football, he's, you know, uh, certified on Twitter, whatever. Uh, so, so pretty, it says quote, pretty wild Devonte Parker stat here. His wide receiver separation using next gen stats, that's an NFL, that's an NFL sponsored stat taking uh, database. 2022, he was 122nd out of 120, 122 receivers in separation. 2021, he was 127th out of 127 receivers in separation. 
2020, he was 132nd out of 132 receivers in separation. So that tells you two things about Devontae Parker's game. Number one, poor separation. Number two, poor route running. I mean, great hands, great contested ball catcher. But the thing is with Devontae is he's a one-trick pony. His route tree is limited, very, very limited. When you watch his film, you're going to see a lot of slant routes. You're going to see some stop and goes. Uh, you're going to see a lot of back shoulder throws. And that's what you get from him. That's his game. He's a one-trick pony. Often, I mean, if you play cushion against him, he's going to, I mean, he'll run that slant route. He'll beat you over the middle. But if you play press coverage against him, sure, he's a big body. But it takes a lot to get him open in that. Uh, with press coverage, you'll see it a lot on film. Um, if you have two safeties, if you have two safeties over the top, and he's in press coverage, he's you're not going to get that contested. You're not going to be able to throw that contested deep ball because you know that safety coming over the top. But if you're in cover one, if they're in cover one, they get that single high safety. The quarterback's able to use his eyes to maneuver that safety to say if Devontae's on the left side of the field, maneuver him to the right hash so that Devontae will just have a one on one. And then it's all for the quarterback. It's all ball, ball placement, back shoulder to the sideline. You're going to see it. I'm going to pull up some film in a bit, and you will see it. I promise you. So let's start off here. So I'm going to start from when he was in Miami, uh, show you what he was good at, what he is, go what he is good at, um, because he is. He is good at this. He's, a, But like I said, one trick pony. Uh, so try four, play ten. Okay. Oh, I got to share my screen. Okay. All right. All right. So this is my dolphins. And this is going to be... Okay. This play right here. Let's see if I can get it. it. Usually it pops into this little corner right here. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it gives me a problem. Which is right now. <laughs> All right. So you're going to see it. They, the Giants, like I was saying, they're in that single high look. Um, yeah, they're playing a. I believe a 4-3. Yep, 4-3 defense. Got the nickel corner out there on Jalen Waddle. I believe that's Xavier McKinney over the top. Um, so what you're going to have here is simple. A simple kind of fade route out here from Devontae at the bottom of your screen. So, you know, you're going to have 11 personnel. Get Kasicki, tight end, Gaskin as a running back. Uh, so you're going to have it simple. Fade route. Outside leverage. Where does Tua put the ball? The out to the sideline, back shoulder, bam! It's a good catch, seventeen yards. And that's all. That's what. That's what he does. It, that's it, That's what you're gonna get. Um, let's see, drive eleven, play four. Okay, so let's go to our next play from this game. Okay, play four. All right, this one's a little shorter. It's a 16-yard pass. Um, let me see if I can get it in this corner right here. I, don't really, I really don't want to have to scroll the way back up to the top. Oh, I'm going to have to anyways. So, okay. The play has already started without me. Okay. So again, uh, I mean, Dolph reverse the field here. So Dolphins are coming from the right side. But what you're going to see is is is, is, is it's a different look pre-snap. This is actually a really good read by Tua, because so say if he stays in this hook zone right here, you're not throwing this ball because it's you're know, double covered. But what's going to happen here is so the Giants are showing that hook zone, but he's going to rotate pre-snap down to a cover one robber, and so the safety's playing on the right hash here. So it's going to have to cover a lot of ground to get here. So Tua is going to read this. A lot of people say Tua doesn't like to read the field. But, again, completely false. It's a made-up. It's a narrative. 
you know, flush it away. You could, you'll flush it away as soon as you watch your a little bit of Tua film. And this isn't even from this season. This is from 2021 under from Flores. Anyways, whole different topic for another episode here. Um, so you get some motion. So you're going to see it. There goes this safety. He's going to cover the, he's going to rob the middle of the field, rob it. It's cover one robber. Um, and then safety's kind of transversing over to that side. He's looking to that side because you got a bunch stack over here. Um, again, you know, Devonte on this little fade. He's got outside leverage again, and Tua is going to see that immediately and throw a very like that's all ball placement because if Tua doesn't throw that ball to the sideline, that's picked off. I mean, I'm not, I don't trust Devonte Parker mossing someone right there. It's picked up. I mean, that's just a good ball. So you know, hey, I respect that. I do. I respect this game, but at the same time, there's ways to take that out. There is ways to take that out. Okay. Now we're going to flash, flash forward to this year uh, in New England. Um, so let's see what, if I can share my screen again. Okay. So this is his, this was actually his best game of the season against Baltimore. And again, you are going to see that same ball just from Mac Jones. Uh, you're going to see that back shoulder, uh, you know, fade ball, outside leverage, single high safety kind of look. Uh, let's see, drive six, play six. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see. All right. So the Ravens are going to come out in that too high shell after all. Slow this down for us. All right. So Ravens are in this too high shell. Uh, they got press coverage on both sides. So you're going to have Parker's being covered by some scrub named Braden Stevens, drafted in 2021. He's a safety. No, he's a corner. Um, he's not a scrub. He's okay. Uh, but anyways, so you're going to have the same exact thing. You have this fade ball, and they're in cover two. But this safety, I believe, uh, I think Marcus Williams, possibly. It's not Kyle Hamilton. Um the safety is just kind of straying too close to the middle of the field. He should be playing. I mean, you're going to see this linebacker dropped into this mid zone, but he should be playing more to this, the 10 right here. It's cover two. I mean, you see him, the safety do it well. But he's, I don't know. Max is going to see this. And you, I mean, you're going to have to throw a good ball here. Uh, you're going to have to throw a good ball. And he's going to do that. He's going to throw a good ball. Again, same route, same exact route from Devontae. He's got the same outside leverage on Braden Stevens, and he's going to throw a sideline ball. S same exact thing. I mean, it, it's like he, you just put a Patriots jersey on him and put him in Pat Patriots Stadium. And instead of two with throwing it to him, it's Mac Jones. Same exact thing. I mean, that's what he does. That's what he's successful at, and I respect it. I do. All right. So, next drive. It's drive seven, play six. So you're going to have a sack. Uh, Mac Jones going to get sacked on this play. All right. So I think I believe that's Patrick Queen right there. You're going to have a, kind of a single high safety because this, this safety is going to take this hook zone maybe. Not sure, though. Eyes are on Devontae Parker. Uh, so now that Devontae Parker isn't being uh, covered by an absolute scrub, uh, now he's got Marlon Humphrey on him. Uh, so let's see how he does against Marlon. Let me slow it down. I believe he's going to run that same route. But I could be wrong. Max ended up taking a sack pretty quickly. That Patriots offensive line wasn't very good this year. But, I mean, he's going to get Marlon to... to uh, where am I right now? That's not... That is not... Devontae Parker. That's Devontae Parker. <laughs> um, there's Marlon. All right, so Devontae's going to run this slant I was telling you about. So you're going to see that safety come down to take away that hook zone. So you'll see the safety rotate down. There he goes. Um, and it's just, it's a slant route, 
but I mean, man, just body, like no zero separation. Marlon's on his tail. There's not really anywhere to fit that ball in, man. Like just running, he's running stride for stride with him on a slant route. And again, that's press coverage. If you play cushion against Devonte, you're gonna he's gonna beat you on that slant over the middle. I mean, you can't play cushion against a slant route, but, but you never know. It's just some teams like to run that zone. So what's gonna happen here is Mac can't find anyone, and he's gonna be forced to take a sack. I mean, he's got Kendrick Bourne here over the top, but he's already off balance. His footwork would be terrible. You risk a bad throw. You don't want and this single high safety coming over the top is just it's formula for disaster at that point okay so last uh three clips here i'm going to show you are actually from the dolphins patriots game week one and that's because um i wanted to show uh some clips of him going against a team that plays mostly man coverage and that's what miami did this season the last season uh they had that cover zero look they come out a lot of single high looks a lot of putting xavian howard on an island which when you have an old quarterback that really doesn't work well for him um so again that's why i'm real happy with you know the vic vangio hiring it's he's gonna bring a lot he's really 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 evolutionized that 4-3 defense um you know the too high shell he mostly comes out with so you know let's get into it all right okay so the dolphins did win this game 20 to 7 and just one. So we got drive one, play nine. All right. So this is the first drive of the Patriots season. This was week one. All right. So what you're gonna have here? Single high cover. Uh, single high with Javon Holland over the top. Phenomenal safety. Who apparently, but apparently Kyle Duggar and Adrian Phillips are better than him. That's what I've heard. It's it's blasphemous. It's insane. It's ignorance. It's biases. Whatever you want to call it, Patriots fans are absolute lunatics. Uh, most of them. Some of them are reasonable, but most of them are absolute lunatics, especially the younger ones. Um, so what you're gonna have here is that single high look. You have Xavier Howard one on one with Devonte Parker, his former teammate. He's in press. He's in press. He's not cushioning. So Max gonna see that. Gonna see one safety over the top. He's going to try to draw Javon Holland to the right hatch, which he does. Um, and then, so he's going to throw it uh, right there. And again, look at, there's just no separation. That's a third. That's an old Xavier Howard running stride for stride with you. And it's a physical play. And what happens? Great play. Xavier Howard's going to bounce it up. I mean, it's not the, the greatest ball placement either, but I mean, Devonte doesn't even make a play on the ball. He's just completely boxed out and that's going to result in an INT. Um, I mean, it's just terrible, 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 terrible. I'm telling you, can't wide receiver ones. He's not a wide receiver one. I mean, I know he just got a new contract that's all incentive based, but three years extension, thirty three million dollars. It's unbelievable. It's just quite frankly unbelievable. All right, drive two, play eight. All right. So, seven-yard sack here by Emmanuel Ogba, which is his only sack of the season uh, because he did have a torn labrum midway through. Um, let's see what we can bring up here. All right. So, again, you have Devontae at the bar at bottom of your screen with Xavier, and this is more of a cover zero look. You're going to see Javon take that kind of hook zone, but mostly he's going to be with Hunter Henry there. Um that this is what Miami, this is their bread and butter. This is what they do. Um, so you know, Devontae running that pretty much that same exact route, but this time he goes for inside leverage instead of outside leverage. He does get a little more separation, but not a ton. Like I'd say, Xavier Howard, he's still gonna go up there and make that play unless Mac Joe throws it really out there, really out there. Um, but, I mean, still not much separation. There's a reason why he's w literally dead last in separation the last three years. Uh, and I, I mean dead last. I read you the stats. It's 132 out of 132. I mean, that's, I mean, there's practice squad receivers that get more separation than Devontae Parker. And, but yet, Patriots fans still think he's the best thing ever. Um, 
He's a playmaker. Devontae Parker is a playmaker, so they say. Complete ignorance, yet again, by New England Patriots fans. It's what they do. All right, drive three, play seven. Okay. All right. This is the last play, um, and then we're going to wrap this up. So what you have here, again, single high look. See how Miami likes to alternate between single high and cover zero? It's Again, it's their bread and butter. It's that Brian Flores-style defense. Josh Boyer was defensive coordinator and said that last year. So the Patriots are going to come out in this real spread look. Um, they're in, I believe, 11 personnel here. They got one running back, uh, one receiver. I mean, one running back, one tight end. With that, Ty Montgomery. I believe that's Hunter Henry. And uh, anyways, you know, Devontae Parker up here, I believe. Yeah. And so he's going to, uh, I believe, I number 10. I forgot who that was. He's going to go in motion. Originally, Xavier Howard was uh, on him, but he's going to hand him off to number, I think that's, I believe that's Cater Kohu. Oh, no, that's, yeah, that is Cater Kohu, undrafted free agent, making his first ever start, 28. Um, all right. So Devonte is going to run that slant that he always, always runs again. Very, very tiny route tree, small route tree, not a creative wide receiver at all. And he's going to run that slant and you're going to see him. See, so like I said, Xavier's playing cushion. Now he's playing about five yards of cushion. That's how, that's how Devonte Parker gets his separation. That's it. That's the only way. And even when he does, I mean, Javon Holland's going to come down to see that. That's, I mean, because he's got great, Javon Holland's got great vision. Um, so, yeah, that's the, really the only way. And you're going to have Brandon uh, Jones or, no, Cater Kohu. I always think that's Brandon Jones. It looks like a 29, but it's 28. He's going to come and play this hook flat zone here. Uh, so the Dolphins defend that well. It's, it gets like a two-yard rush, whatever. But what I just showed you there is pretty much those those seven plays or so. That's pretty much as Devontae Parker's whole game. That's all he does. Um, but in it, in it, statistically, it shows. Film, it shows. There's no proof, aside from when a defense is playing pure zone and he finds a hole in the zone, because that's the only successful plays I've seen from him. Successful plays that I've seen from him are back shoulder catches and one-on-one -on -one man coverage. Or finds a hole in his own, or a miscommunication on defense. That's it. Those are the only successful plays that I've seen from him. Other than that, you get up there and play man, press him. He's not beating you over the top, and man, he might get a one yard of separation, a little, bit, a little maybe a little less than that on a slant route or a crosser. That's it. <laughs> There's nothing else to his game, and it shows. I mean, it's a little too late in his career for him to really develop. I know a lot of Patriots fans like to say, oh, it would be great under Bill O'Brien, um, Bill O'Brien, which Bill O'Brien, fantastic coach, great offensive mind. Devontae is not going to change. He's been around. He's been in the league for about 10 years now. Um, just about. Yeah, it's going to be 2024 season. So, yes, it's going to be in his ninth year. Um, so... He, it is what it is, but for Patriots fans to continue to gas up their offense like there is no other team in the league is complete blasphemy. Um, it's hard. It, it is really hard having to, to deal with them, to listen to them, because a lot of them just don't understand the game of football. Plain and simple. They just don't get it. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up tonight. Uh, you know, we had a little half hour stream, get some film in. Look out for a new TikTok. I'm probably going to uh, make a replica TikTok of this, what I showed tonight. So just throw some of the plays from here on in a more detailed description or another view. Um, but hey, it was fun. We had, we had a good time tonight. Um, you know, if you're a Patriots fan watching, don't feel too bad. Uh, you might get D-Hop, maybe even Dalvin Cook. Uh, you get a lot of cap space. You're not in a financial crisis. So, hey. Hey, thanks for tuning in, guys. All right? Peace.